Hello everybody, Jen again here with another process layout, this time using my July Scraptastic, um, the summer, the summer themed, summer nights kit, that was the name of it. So here I had already stuck in these pictures, I'm using photos of um, my, when I went to Hawaii this past summer, I had already put them in a, in the frames from my own stash, they were Heidi Swap frames. Um, that I have had forever. They were sold at Michael's and I think I got them on like massive clearance uh, when they were clearancing all their stuff out for like, I don't know, 50 cents or something ridiculous. So I put them in to do it, on, uh, to do so something similar on a different page, but I started it and I didn't like how it was looking. So I kind of put the four photos in frames away off to the side and then I've pulled them out again. Um, so you'll notice that I'm so it's kind of already started. Um, I'm pulling out all these um, simple stories, summer night, or is it summer nights? No, good day sunshine um, die cuts that I'm going to use. I also went through my um, American Crafts hashtag summer sticker book that came with the kit. I got both the kit and the add-on. I don't usually do that. I usually just get the main kit, but I love this one so much. I got the add-on. Um, so I'm going, I went through, I pulled out all those arrow stickers from that, and now I'm putting pulling out a couple of the brads that go with the good day, uh, the good day sunshine, um, simple stories kit. So you'll notice that one of the photos has the face blocked out. That is a picture of my mom. She does not, um, she lives in the stone age. She doesn't want her face at all on the internet whatsoever. She doesn't have Facebook. She doesn't have any of that stuff. Um, so I, out of respect, I do cover, if I have pictures of her, I will cover her face. Um, just because she really doesn't want her picture on on the internet at all. Um, so I am putting the arrows t on the outside of the pages here to uh, to go bring your your eyes inward towards the page and I'm going to put other embellishments in the middle there. Um, so I'm putting down these brads, one brad in each corner um, of the, the stars? No, the arrows. Um, and this background piece of paper, I had no idea what I was going to do with it. I loved it, but I felt that it was really, really bold. Um, and I'm, I don't, I can't say that I'm usually a B-side scrapper, but patterns like this, I would typically use the B-side, but I loved it. Um, so I really wanted to use it. Um, and I was having difficulty trying to figure out what to do. And then a grid layout where, um, where the pictures are already in frame so you can actually see the pictures. I was like, oh, perfect, it works. Um, so I'm putting on a couple of these tabs. I think one says today and one, I don't know what that yellow one says I'm putting on right now. Maybe hello or something like that. Um, I was just putting some removable adhesive on that sticky note um, because it was starting to peel up. So I'm using some of the wood, the exclusive uh, Scraptastic wood veneers and I think it says, the first one says summer and the inside the sun, I think it says sunshine and that is actually going to be my title. So it's kind of reiterated with the wood veneer. Um, and I'm gluing everything directly to the frames. Um, I had seen a grid layout somebody had posted it and I had, that's where I had gotten this inspiration. I loved the grid layout. I thought it was so cool um, and I, can't remember who posted it. Um, it might have been on one of the, like the Kit Club blogs or something like that. But I really, I really liked it, so I used my own, um, I did my own take on on the grid layout. Usually, I'm not a grid layout scrapper. I don't usually enjoy them, but I thought this worked awesome with those frames. Um, oh, and I'm seeing that I had put down probably way early in the video. Um, one of those, one of the simple stories. I think they're called snap cuts or something like that. Um, they're the die cut cards and that's a four by six card that I'm using as in the top left hand corner um, to mount my photo frames on. So I'm just getting enough adhesive that it's kind of hard to get adhesive on a piece that's all cut like Swiss cheese. It's kind of funny, um, but I made it work. And then I'm just going to rearrange my photos here. These photos are from, like I said, Hawaii, um, but we had gone on a... Um, Nepali Coast snorkeling cruise and this is the second time we had gone to Hawaii um, Two summers ago we had taken a cruise around all of the islands and then spent a week on Kauai and then this summer we um, Spent a week on Oahu because we never we hadn't really been to Oahu at all 
um, and then spent another week on Kauai because we loved it so much. So these are from Kauai. And on when we were on the cruise, we went we did a Nepali Coast sail by on the big ship, which was really cool. Um, it was beautiful. It was a gorgeous day. Um, but I had really wanted to do a smaller boat. So we took um, a snorkeling trip uh, that was awesome. And it really made you realize how big those cliffs are from the smaller boat as opposed to the cruise ship. They looked much bigger, I think. Um, and it was really cool. The bottom, the bottom picture, uh, bottom right, left, right hand side picture is, um, our boat captain actually was able to captain and he put the boat right under a waterfall. Um, and it was freezing cold. It was a blast. I went under there. I got soaked. So this was me post posing right after I was completely soaked from the waterfall. It was really a good trip. We really enjoyed it. Um, it was probably one of the highlights of this trip, complete highlights. I loved it. Um, even though I'd already seen everything before and we, we had snorkeled all over the island. So it was nothing really new per se, um, but we really, really enjoyed it. Um, so I'm going through here thinking about what I'm going to do next. I am probably switching something on my iPad there. Um, and I'm I struggled with the alphabet for this. Um, I wanted something that was going to stand out. The thickers in the kit or the We Are Member Keepers keeper things didn't really stand out. I was pulling through my own stash to try to find something. I was counting the letters there, realized I didn't have enough letters, even though that set of thickers would go perfectly with that blue color. Um, I'm going, then I realized that I have yellow, um, which will work perfect for this, the word sunshine. So I do have enough letters there that will work. So I'm going to put, pull out the words, um, sunshine. And then I'm going to use out of that the Simple Stories die cut cardstock sticker 12 by 12 sheet. I'm going to use that summer um, that's there in the multicolor. That's going to, that'll be, and it's hard, it's kind of hard to see in the layout, um, but you can read it. Uh, I think anything you put down um, color wise would have been difficult on this piece of paper unless I had um, put the, oriented the piece, the sheet of background paper differently. Um, I could have oriented it with the arrows going to the left or the right, but I really liked it going down. I don't know why, I just did. Um, so that's how I did it. And so you'll see that you can, you know, you can see it, but it is a little bit difficult, but it's okay. I like, I really like how this layout came out. Um, it's probably one of my favorites that I've done in a while. Um, I think that's gonna make me rethink the grid position. Um, my my opinion on grid layouts. I. I really liked how this came out and I love that I could get the four photos on. So I think that about sums up my layout. I don't know what I'm doing there with my pen, goodness knows. Um, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.